Hi everybody, Mrs. Tyson here. Today we're going to talk about something called transformations. And transformations are just when we change the way that something looks, but we don't change the size of it or the shape of it. So what I mean by that is um, sometimes, oops, we're going to start out in the words, or we can use a couple different words. So the first word we're going to talk about is called a translation. And I always remember translation because I see this SL right here. And that reminds me of the word S-L-I-D-E, which just means to slide something, okay? So I'm gonna show you what that means. And I'm gonna show you first by just making like a letter or a shape or something out of this little scratch piece of paper that I have. So when you do this, you can make whatever shape you want. Today, I'm just gonna make the letter E. And it's not going to be a perfect E, but it's going to work for what we're doing today. Okay. So I'm going to show you what a translation or a slide looks like by first kind of drawing like a little line right here. And then I'm going to trace this letter E or the shape that you made. You might make um, a triangle or a fish or whatever shape you want. And what I'm going to do for the slide or the translation is I'm simply going to slide it right across that line, okay? And when I slide it right across that line, you can tell that I didn't change the shape and I didn't change the size, but I just slid it right across that line, okay? Sometimes you can do a translation where you slide it from the top of the line down over the line, okay? So that's another way to do a translation, okay? The next thing I wanna tell you about is called a reflection, okay? And actually, you know what? I'm gonna move this one over here. That's gonna be our translation, just to show that we did a slide. And then now we're going to look at what's called a reflection. And the same thing like how our, the SL reminds me that translation means the same thing as slide. Reflection, I look at that FL and I know that that is the same thing as a flip. Now you probably are familiar with the word reflection, like when the water is totally still and it looks like the trees just like flip upside down, right? So I'm gonna show you how we can do a flip across a line like this, okay? I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to make a new shape just for fun. This time I'm going to make a little shape of a fish. Okay. All right. So first, my fish is up here swimming along this line right here. I'm just going to trace around it. Now when, I, when the fish flips, it's just going to flip this way. Okay. So I flipped it along that line. Watch to see what it looks like when I flip my E. So I'm gonna move that word for a minute, okay? So I've got my line here. I'm gonna flip this letter. I'm gonna draw my tracer on my letter or my shape. I'm not doing a very careful job, but you get the point. Okay, so here's my line that I'm going to flip it across. I'm gonna flip it right like this. Now with the E, it kind of looks exactly the same when I flip it, right? When I flip it that way. But let's do this. Let's do another flip. But this time I'm gonna flip it across a line like this, okay? So here's my fish. I'm gonna trace my fish. And now I'm going to flip my fish across the line. And now, it's a reflection of that fish. You also see reflections in the mirror. When you look in the mirror, sometimes things look backwards. So you can flip it this way over a line or you can flip top to bottom. When I flip the letter E, it is also going to look quite a bit different on the other side or it's going to look basically backwards. So watch, I have it regular, then I flip it this way so it looks backward, okay? Now we have one more thing that I'm gonna show you, another word that we're gonna learn about. And this one is a rotation. Again, 
I have underlined a letter to help you remember what it is. And when you rotate something, like if a fan is rotating around, it's going to like turn around in circles. Woo. So this T right here is going to stand for turn. All right. So, so far we have a reflection, a flip. We've got a slide or a translation, and now we're going to do a turn. So this one's a little bit different, okay? So this time when we turn, let's start with the letter E. We always wanna turn around. I'm gonna pretend that this is a little blob of glue right there, and I'm gonna put my E right there, okay? And then I can trace my shape or my E, and my E in this case, my letter, okay? And now we're not gonna slide it or flip it, but this time I'm gonna keep right here on this point right here, and I'm going to just turn. See how I can just turn this E around, okay? I can, so if I go start right here, and I, I have to keep this point right here, and then I can just turn it like this, like one-fourth of the way, or I can turn it this way. But you can kind of tell when, when a shape is being turned uh -oh. and then when I take it off you can tell that I didn't just flip it upside down but I actually to get this shape right here to get that transformation or that movement I had to rotate it okay let's do the same thing with this fish right here I will trace it and then I'm going to pick one point right here I'm going to Pick this point right here, and now I'm just going to turn it or rotate it. Okay, and then I could stop and trace it right there. I could show right here that that's a rotation. Kind of hard to copy these. So um, what I'm going to have you do today for the assignment has to do with basically do the same thing that I did, that I did right here, okay? You're going to try these three different transformations. You're going to try a, a slide or a translation. You're going to try a reflection or a flip. And you're going to try a rotation or a turn. Good luck and have fun.